Okay, I thought I'd uh, share this one. Looks like my reservoir has a leak, and I'm not really too sure where yet, if it has a crack or whatever, but I noticed today that my van has a leak, and my van doesn't leak. So I investigate what the problem was, and it's coolant. And uh, from underneath the van, I was looking up, and I could see coolant on the bottom of the bottle. And I don't think the beginning there right now, because it's been a little while. But, oh yeah, it's still wet. Not that you can really tell on my fingers there. A bit shiny in the camera. Yeah, right around back there is where it's mainly wet. So, I'm going to take the reservoir out. So, I need to um, just take the tap off the bottom of the radiator. Take about, probably about a litre of coolant out. We'll get this reservoir out and we'll have a look at what's going on there, why it's leaking. You can see the coolant level right there on the bucket. It's just coming out right now. That's a, that should be enough now, I guess. Make sure that reservoir's empty and then I'll take it off and we'll have a look. Okay, so reservoir's out and uh, I just cable tied off that one there because the water level is uh, level with the radiator. So there's no more water coming out, but if I let that hose rest down, water will come out, or coolant will come out. So I've just cable tied that off there. Just tuck that other one that goes to the heaters over there. And uh, this bottom hose, so I left it on there because the clamp's easier to get to and take the hose with it. Now looking at the bottom of the reservoir. It looks like I've got a crack here. <clears throat> so um, that's where it looks like it's leaking from kind of goes all over here too so I'm going to repair that and uh, I'll show you my repair and um, the stuff that I use okay that's all cleaned up and dry and uh, you can see where it's all um, stained that it's this has been a slow problem for a while but it's only just um, showed itself today it looks like the crack comes right up to here that's where it's leaking from but uh, I'm going to um, put the plastic weld all the way around that area so uh, first I'm going to sand it with some wet and dry then I'm going to give the whole area a good scrub with some steel wool. Then I'll mix up some plastic weld. And I'll do that whole area there. Alright, so if I wanted to, I could just put this spare reservoir that I've got on. And I'll, you know, back on the road already. But that's not what I want to do. I want to, I like the style of that one better than that one. So I want to repair my old one. I only keep this around because one day, if I'm going to need a reservoir... I'm gonna need that and it's not that big a deal to keep that tiny small so this is the plastic world I'm gonna use I believe most countries sell that it is available on eBay alrighty so <clears throat> getting back into this I've had to um, I went down the street and uh, bought a new uh, plastic weld because uh, the other one went bad and um, which means that this stuff uh, if you don't use it in a month within a month uh, then it automatically goes bad so you want to make sure that you use it in a month to make it worthwhile so I'm going to mix it up now on the tape so I can just pull the tape off that later and keep me case clean and then apply it to here so this stuff here is just it says to, um, pretty sure it says on here somewhere where it keeps, what temperature to keep it above. I can tell you not to store it in the fridge like I have been, because it makes the, the glue inside really thick and pasty. And um, you should, if you do keep it in the fridge, to try and keep, make the glue last longer, um, give the glue about 20 minutes to thaw out before using it. I'll just use a 
screwdriver here <clears throat> to mix it up. I've got about 10 minutes to play with. Now this stuff really stinks, so you want to keep you want to be in a well ventilated area. And this stuff also gets really hot, so important not to let the two glues touch there because then that will harden up like a body full of wood. And I just put that out of the way for a second. This plastic weld is really good stuff and uh, I could use JB weld but it wouldn't last as long because JB weld gets really hard and it won't flex like plastic does so you, you get the plastic weld for applying a plastic solution a, a, a repair for plastic um, JB weld I prefer to use metal weld um, it's great for other products uh, other problems Let's get on here first. I'm going to make it nice and thick on here because it's um. Make sure it's a nice good fix. I also taped it off so I can go a little bit out, and when I'm finished sorting this out, I'll take that tape off and I won't have ugly spillage on the sides. And I've um taped uh marked the area that I've sanded and where I want to apply the plastic weld and see how thick I'm applying this this is <clears throat> okay when that hardens up I'll just get a knife uh, razor Stanley scrape that off I'll just put that out of the way for now I'll take this tape here off pretty much pretty much it so now I just have to wait for that dry which won't take long and uh, oh to touch dry that is uh, see so this is it's got it on here <clears throat> Okay, so it shows you here you have five minutes to work with it, ten minutes before it's dry, so ten minutes before it's hard on there. That gets hot as well while it's drying. So um yeah, it'll be touch drying ten minutes. It's not fully cured for twenty-four hours, but it's you know hard in ten minutes, so I can put it back on the van and an adhesive will fixture in ten minutes and fully cure in twenty-four hours, like I said. What was the clean and replace, blah blah blah. Okay. So if you want to read more about that, just Google it. Alright, so I'm going to give that 10-15 minutes now. And then I'll make sure that it's all, I can touch it and she's good to go. And then I'll yeah, put it back on the van. Okay, so that's all back in, all cleaned up. And uh, later on I'll take it for a drive. And then I'll finish this clip up um, to see if there's any leak or not, which I highly doubt, but I'll give it a test anyway. And uh, just want to quickly mention uh, the coolant that I'm using in my van. Pretty much everything I use in my van these days is uh, comes straight from Liquid Intelligence.
um, mixes of any other coolant. I just uh, the the products I've been using from Liquid Intelligence have been um, outstanding. They've been great. My brake fluid and everything completely flushed with Liquid Intelligence brake fluid. I'm going to do the power steering flush soon because uh, I did a transmission flush not long ago. And uh, but for now. Uh, I'm going to have to pretty much put my van on hold because I need to get my other car registered so a few things on that one to be done. So I'll um, finish this clip up a little bit later when I get back after going for a drive and we'll just make sure that that leak is sealed. Alright so I've taken it for a drive today, a good half hour drive. Today happens to be 42 degrees Celsius and uh, no, not a single leak. It's holding up. I've also used plastic weld on another car, which happens to be down there actually. A silver one you can see down there. Uh, I did that a couple of years ago and it's still holding up. So, to me, this is a, not a band aid fix, this is a, a solution. Uh, as long as you can catch it early. Although that one over there did have a pinky size, probably a oh, I'd say 15mm size hole that I did a repair on that one down there. And uh, it's been staying fixed ever since. Just make sure you get around the area. Like if you've got a hole that's just a little bit here. Make sure you use plastic weld a good, say, half inch around the damage area as well. If you see a crack, make sure you go like the same half an inch around that crack area. Just so you make sure that that problem's not going to happen again. That's not saying that the bottle's not going to fail somewhere else. It just won't fail there again. <clears throat> Alright, well, thanks for watching. Until next time. Cheers.